Okay, so hey guys, it's Cave to Whatever. I'm Kirsten, and today um, I thought I am going to try out a new shampoo and conditioner. The last one um, I tried was Function of Beauty. I will have that video linked down below. But I just currently got my hair uh, re dyed, and this is what it's looking like right now. So I want to try the. The Matrix Total Results Keep Me Vivid uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. You can get this at Cost Cutters. So it's like a salon brand, um, which can kind of get a little expensive. These are $17 a piece. Uh, I got them on sale, but the original price is $17, so they're quite expensive. So I'm gonna try them out for the amount of time that the bottle lasts me, and then I will give my final results. But this is my before. <clears throat> um, my hair was in a ponytail, and I just got it dyed. So, so blue. It's looking pretty good now, but yeah. Okay, so hey guys. Um, sorry to pop in like this, but I wanted to give you my final thoughts. This video is all over the place. If you watched my Function of Beauty video, you would know that I completely spaced that I made these two videos. Um, especially this one, all of the footage I recorded had gotten lost or deleted. I have no idea where it is. So I don't have a lot of video for this video, but I wanted to make sure that we came on here and post it anyways, just to have like a checklist i guess to know that i've already tested this product before um so i have used this product before and i wanted to give it another shot because i thought it may be something that was working for my hair before oh boy was i wrong okay so here's how it went down you saw me with my freshly new dyed hair barely fairly blue and if you don't know when i dye my hair i wait 24 to 48 hours after i dye it to wash my hair um, just because usually when I get it dyed I wash my hair and I don't want to wash my hair so much right so I usually wait so my first washout um, I lost a lot of blue and I just thought you know that's normal that's how it always is for me I always lose some blue because it's just freshly dyed you know um, a couple days later I shot um, our I think Hall County Fair vlog. In that video, I'll show you a little clip of the only clip I can find with my hair after I used the shampoo. Um, and if you notice my roots in that video, you can kind of see the lightener that was in my hair and it's kind of a greenish color. It's not blue anymore, but fairly blue down here, but like kind of greenish blondy color weirdness up in the roots. It's not that noticeable, but that is only two days after, you know, having my freshly dyed hair and, the, you know, first time ever using it. So I, well now, I looked everywhere for photos and videos of myself during that time to kind of show you the process of what my hair looked like. I couldn't find anything, but I did find a photo, I will insert now, where this was taken a month after I started using the shampoo and conditioner and um, my hair is completely teal blue. It is completely faded to not the color that my hair normally is. Um, and that happened really, really fast because typically I could keep my blue in my hair without having to worry about touching it up for at least two to three months. Um, so to only be a month out and having it already be to a point where I need to dye it again, that is completely not cool at all. You know, like that's wrong for me. That's not going to work. That is definitely fading out my color. So you're not color protecting my hair like you claim to be. Um, the product claims to be something that's going to keep your hair a vivid blue, a vivid color. And it just didn't. It washed out all of my color that was vivid in my hair. <laughs> so it did kind of the opposite of what I wanted it to. 
It also did not make my hair feel soft. In fact, it just kind of felt like it was like brittle and dead and I had, um, what's it called? Split ends all the time. It just didn't work for me. Um, and it didn't give me the volume that I so desperately want. So yeah, that, let's just say my final thoughts on that is that is not recommended to be used on brightly colored hair. Um, maybe if you have like a natural hair color, maybe not be so bad. Or if you have like a, you know, you dyed it a natural hair color rather than a vivid, bright, you know, if you dye your hair pink, it ain't gonna stay. It's not gonna stay um, for a long period of time. And it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna say it's not recommended. Do not use this, Do, just don't, don't use it. Um, so it's not working for me. So, that is my thoughts. That's all I have for this video. I am so sorry it is completely out of whack, but I promise you the next video for my hair care journey is a lot better, organ, better, betterly organized? I don't know the right correction. But anyway, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below um, what products I should try next subscribe to join this hair care journey with me um it's free we'd love to have you um this is kinsey whatever and i will see you in the next video bye guys